flow It floats back to you Farmers were hoping for rain. Oh, did I do that? Uh -huh. I think the best thing for you to do is just leave me out in the sun to dry, oh, okay? Of course. <laughs> Gee. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> but Big O thinks you turned him in. And they have got to kill you. Big O! You are sick. You know that? S I Q U E, sick. Bright and early next morning, he brought my letter. I knew it was you all the time. You didn't know anything. Well, I knew that you had a friend who carried a machine gun in her purse. And you won't get away with whatever you're doing. Oh? And who's going to stop me? Can I be of any assistance, Professor Kell? Oh, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Miss Purdy. Uh, you're very, very considerate. Actually, I would appreciate the assistance for were it not for your assisting me, I might very well be here all semester. <laughs> when I worked with Dean Martin, Jerry did not speak to me after uh, that for really? maybe 20 years. Really? Yeah. But then I went to see him in Damn Yankees, and we hugged and had uh, uh, pictures taken, and I met his wife and looked at pictures of his beautiful young daughter, and all was well. But, but you he know, didn't want to talk to you when you, because Frank Sinatra worked with Dean Martin, and he worked with Frank Sinatra, Jerry Lewis. Just... Well, uh, The Nutty Professor was known as Jerry's masterpiece, and I was his leading lady in that. And so Dean Martin and he were not speaking at that time. So he didn't speak to me either, you know? <laughs>
the petals of a wild flower with the sun at high noon. I went walking in butterfly mornings and wildflower afternoons. And wildflower afternoons. I started to believe in your promises that we had a chance. You took from me the only thing I ever loved in the whole world, my Linda. You killed her. You killed her. You killed her. You killed her. special request this evening uh, for Carol and I to perform a little intimate moment uh, which we had in the Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> Professor Kell?